Now I'm going to show you how to learn Irish in a better and more effective way by linking nouns with appropriate verbs. All will be revealed in a few moments. If you would like to learn more about the Irish language, whether it's study skills like what we're about to talk about now, or verbs, words, phrases, and lots more, then hit that subscribe button and don't be afraid to tickle the bell notification as well where you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. A verb is a word that describes an action. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. And if you can link the nouns with suitable and compatible verbs, then you are going to find the process of learning, speaking, and understanding Irish much easier. Let's look at this noun here, skull. So skull is the Irish for school. And an appropriate verb to link in with that is the Irish verb foulum. Foulum is to learn. Daulum she an changa. He learned the language. Daulum she an changa. Another uh, noun we can use is kolosta. Kolosta is the Irish for college. And a really good verb to use with kolosta is ulvig. Ulvig. So ulvig is the Irish verb to prepare. Dulvig she e fein. Unscrewdu. She prepared herself for the exam. Dulvig she e fein dunscrudu. Crinu is the Irish word for a meeting. Crinu. And a great verb to link in with that is frastal. Frastal, which means attend. Drastal she er on grinu. He attended the meeting. Drastal she er on grinu. So here's these um, nouns again and the appropriate verbs that will link in nicely with them. Skull and Foulum, Kolosta and Ulvig, and Crinu and Frastel. And of course they are compatible, so you could use Foulum and link it in with uh, Kolosta as well. And you could certainly link in Ulvig with uh, Crinu because you know you would prepare for the meeting just like you would attend college or attend school so they are very much interchangeable so let's focus on one noun now um clear clear is the irish for a match clear let's look at some verbs that will be very suitable to use with clear immer buig and kyle so immer means to play buig is to win and kyle is to lose these are all things that you would do or you would take note of in relation to a match. Let's start with immer. Dimmer may, for example, I played. Dimmer may. Imriak on clear. The game was played. Imriak on clear. Note there, Imriak is a free verb, so we know the game was played. And we just don't necessarily know when it was played or how it went. That's a free verb in the past tense. Imriak. On clear. Buig is next. Vuig sheed on clear. They won the match. Vuig sheed on clear. Let's move on to Kyle. Chylemer on clear. We lost the match. Chylemer on clear. So the verbs immer, buig, and Kyle are very suitable to be used in conjunction with clear. Our next nouns then. Let's look at telefish first. So telefish is the Irish word for television. Telefish, and a great verb to use with that is feach. Feach, which means to look or to watch. Deach me er on telefish. I watched the television. Deach me er on telefish. Radio is next. So radio is the Irish for radio. Radio, and a great verb to use with that, probably the best one is eisht. Eisht, which means to listen. So, for example, deisht me, I listened. The past tense, deisht me, I listened. Eisht and she, lesh on radio, are imagine. He listens to the radio in the morning. Eisht and she, lesh on radio, are imagine. So here's a list of all the verbs I've mentioned in this video and the appropriate nouns that go with them. You can link these some of them are interchangeable and if you can do this and practice this on an ongoing basis as you learn Irish it is certainly going to make it easier to learn and understand the Irish language. 
If you enjoyed this study skills video, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know in the comments section some of your favourite nouns and verbs that work well together. I will be back very soon with another video. Thank you very much for watching. Slongafol.